Hey team, I'm just making this quick video to show how to measure the output level at the broadcast mixing board. So this is very, very important for the reception on the user end that the entire service comes across as being the same volume. Now, obviously music needs to have energy and the pastoral moments need to actually have, you know, that single voice, not a full band. But we don't want people at home turning the volume up and down and up and down and up and down throughout the service. The way we measure that is actually going to be on um, this new, well, it's an old laptop, but a new, new to this particular environment. Um, the Woodgrain Mac Pro is here running Logic, and it is using a uh, loudness units full scale meter. Um, and what this is doing is it's applying a mathematical equation to the master mix going to the broadcast, and it's saying, okay, for what content it's receiving, it would be perceived to be this loud, however loud is measuring it. Um, and what we're doing is me trying to measure our entire broadcast to negative 12 loudness units full scale. What this does is gives us a loud mix that does not go too loud for our broadcast equipment, such as the Boxcaster, uh, Boxcast itself or the website. So nothing downstream is going to turn our music down or our stream down. Uh, but we also have a uh, an arbitrary point, minus 12 or negative 12 loudness units, that we're gonna measure to for the entire mix. And this, it does not matter what part of the service this is. This could be music, speaking, um, it could be a video, and I'm gonna illustrate that right here. So you can see on the screen, um, we've got our, uh, this is a little bit rudimentary, but I've got our master meter as well as our DCA so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to start by just bringing up pre and post roll and take a look at our master meter for the mixing board on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, look at the loudness units meter um, measuring how loud it is coming out. All right, a quick explanation of the loudness meter before we go on. There are three initials on the top, uh, M, S, and I. M stands for momentary. It's a very quick measurement, um, probably peaks, basically. Uh, S is short term, so it's a very short average uh, of, of some milliseconds, just to give you some average of the overall volume. I is integrated, which measures over the entire time in which you've had the start, play, pause button enabled. So you'll see if I hit that here, if I hit start, it begins measuring. And it will give us a range for how much the volume has changed, as well as uh, the integrated level is it at minus 12, minus 18, minus 20, and so on. Um, you do not have to use that play pause button necessarily. In fact, I've been moving with the last few weeks just using the momentary and the short term to get my average volume. But let's listen to a couple of examples of me flipping through different moments of a service, uh, worship songs, uh, Jim speaking, and videos to hear how this level comes across nice and even, but each part sounds the way it should. So we'll start with uh, computer, then we'll go to worship, and then we'll go to gym. <laughs> in the midst that, uh, whatever, I think it's just going to happen. I don't think I can, you know, rig this thing that I'm going to be. One of the discussions in our home is. Or do you just have to wait and let that organically happen. Now, I, I'm in the midst that, uh, whatever. So you notice a couple of things are different between our master meter on the mixing board and our loudness meter measuring the broadcast uh, perceived volume. The perceived vo volume was roughly the same for all three of those examples uh, across the entire spectrum of the service, which is the goal. But if you watch our master meter over here, um, you might have seen how Jim's mic, you know, rig this thing that I'm going to be. One of the discussions in our home is hovering a little bit lower than like our worship team. And that is important because Jim is a more steady uh, volume the whole time. He doesn't have a lot of peaks and pulses, 
Whereas our music, our, our worship team has a drum set uh, with a lot of transients. The kick and the snare are just punching through. Um, sometimes bass plucks or keyboard uh, hits will actually add a quick transient that will make our mixing board meter look like we jumped really loud. It might be to minus six, might be a minus three, might even get all the way to zero. But the average, the loudness units over here on this side, showing the broadcast level, is actually uh, averaging out to the level we wanted it because it's being perceived as a certain volume, the same volume as Jim's voice. Whatever. I think it's just going to happen. I don't think I can, you know, rig this thing. That All right. So, again, the uh, important thing here is to use the loudness unit uh, to measure how loud is my mix being perceived at home for someone watching online. And that is our measurement for our broadcast mix. We want to be at minus 12 across the board from pre-roll all the way to the end of service. And that way someone who's watching on the other end doesn't have to turn the volume up and down repeatedly throughout a service. It'll always stay nice and even. And this applies in the cafe as well and in the commons, those other areas where our broadcast feed is being sent for people to listen during the service time. Uh, if you do that, um, I'm sure the broadcast mix will be nice and level for everyone at home.